While the phonies rip off inspiration and backstabber stir up drama, I'm just here with my bomb-ass bubblegum polish. Remember, if you recognize your own fabulosity, no one can touch you. I wonder if it's only the profiles that have that little ring around them that is not private. Oh, can I access them from up here? Aha! Easier. Hola, chicas! So, super exciting news. Guess who's the latest Aluren brand ambassador? I'm so totally honored by this opportunity because I love, love, love the Aluren brand ethos, which is stay true to yourself. Now you queens know that I only ever support brands that I really truly believe in because I'm no beauty bot and you lovelies made me, so I gotta keep it real. Arya announces her partnership with the Alluren brand, but commenters are pointing out some discrepancies in this announcement. Yes, my darling chicas, the secret's out. So happy to finally announce that I'm an Alluren ambassador. Stay tuned for more goodies and a big giveaway coming real soon. Something about the video's wrong. Don't you see? She's obviously lying, someone said. Um, said, don't they call themselves muses? She said she's an ambassador. Look, she didn't even tag them. Isn't that weird? Wait, that is weird. They're faking? Being sponsored? Why? Lying about SpawnCon. What's SpawnCon? Sounds like something bad happened there. Maya sees Arya as her inspiration to stay, to stay strong in tough times. I truly struggled for a long time to feel comfortable in my own skin. One thing about getting older and wiser is recognizing that your inner bombshell is gorgeous no matter what other people say about you. Yeah, Maya's in the comments defending him. Chicas, this is my favorite wall. Love the texture because it makes every outfit pop. So it's kind of annoying to see other junkies copying me by shooting here too. You know, I do all my shots myself. No professionals, no Chimera boy fees. Okay, like I said, I do all my shots myself. Nothing profesh, no Chimera boy fees. It's just me. <laughs> As a creator, when somebody copies you, it just kills your creative soul bit by bit. So this is what I have to say to all the copy pastas out there. Listen carefully. You can try to be me, but you'll never be me by making knockoffs of my style. Their hair is really cute. This is a little PSA for all those knockoff fashionistas. I'm not naming names because I don't partake in drama, but these wannabes aren't doing it for the love of fashion like the rest of us. They just want fame and money by copying those of us who work hard and care.
Hashtag by Felicia and hashtag I'm talking to you, Babs. Oh, Babby doll. That must be one of the fakers. And somebody named Felicia as well. I don't see them in the comments. chicas all right so as you can see i've already done my eye makeup but i haven't touched on the most important thing yet can you tell what it is can you can you <laughs> okay so the most important thing about the perfect picture is not the photograph although the beautiful photograph is important but the most important thing about the perfect picture is the perfect photo frame that frames the beautiful photograph and today in this case, the beautiful photograph is your face and the frame would be your eyebrows and your shading. And this is what I'm gonna teach you how to do today, okay? Are you ready? I'm gonna start with my eyebrows, shading, and I'm gonna end with the lip gloss. Ready? Those added sound effects were just... Oh. Color Chicas. I was so inspired by this new palette from Bareface Fez, Fez that I just had to do this tutorial for you guys. List of products used below. We have Mina's up here at the top that we can go to when we're at the... Home screen, I think. Yeah, I think I can say with confidence that if their profile doesn't have that little thing around it, then it's private. This wasn't informative at all. Tone down the editing next time. <laughs> yeah, that was the fastest application of makeup ever. So this is our feed. Sorry, I'm just kind of getting, getting lost in all this, thinking, what do I want to do now? Filled with indecision. I was on a semi-successful esports team not too long ago. We were a family, but it was obvious that I was the weakest link. Still, the team had my back. It was the fans who jumped on every chance to pin our every stumble, fall, and loss on me. The toxicity was unbearable. It was a miracle that this service came into my life. I quit to start streaming on my own. Thought the hate would follow, but the service came through. Haven't streamed since April. What happened? Would you believe that this stack is completely plant-based? Yes. Enjoy the flavor of meat and none of the guilt. Okay. All my fans and my followers, you are the greatest gift I could ever ask for. I hit an incredible Camara milestone yesterday, and I can't express my gratitude and appreciation enough. I'm still reeling over the fact that there are so many of you following me. I love each and every one of you so much. You are why I do this. I'm nothing without your support. Thank you for choosing to stay with me. I can't wait to see where we'll go next.
Oh, these are comments reacting to the news that Maya died. This is Clara. We have a routine every morning where I drop some change and she'll yell, yell out, thanks for dinner. But she wasn't in her usual spot when I came by. Concerned, I looked and found her on the sidewalk. Some kids trashed her last camp and she was forced to move. I offered to go to the police with her, but she declined, saying they wouldn't care. So I did what I could. I gave her some change, more than usual, and she said thanks for caring. If you want to read more stories like this and support my work, pre-order your copy of The People of Chimera book today. That is a weird follow-up to the story you just had. Okay, we already saw that. Lumi, meet the most private phone ever. Yes or no? Yes or no what? No. Resist Iris and its power over your data. This could be us, but you're too busy checking other books out. <laughs> okay. Max, or Rex rather. Yikes. That's their name. Yikes. <laughs> Cheat day. Are you destined to rise above mediocrity? Y no. Then you're cursed to o then you're cursed to only to what? That's not grammatically correct. You're cursed to only follow others. Maya, we'll check out our own feed later and see that stuff. Mina, we'll check that out later, see that stuff too. Just looking for other people's things. Sick of having weaklings for friends? Oh, Mind Body Fitness. That's the place that uh, the creep tried to hit on Maya and pretend that it was their friend that took their phone? Sick of having weaklings for friends? No. Invite them to Mind Body Fitness and hang out as swole mates. Oh, fuck off. Maya. Renew Earth Org official. Our forests are on fire, but we have the power to stop that. For every like and comment, we'll donate 10 bucks towards conservation efforts. Tag your friends and save the Earth today. Only you can change it. TRM, Tailored Reputation Management. Be the best influencer you can be. Join the wave. The help I got from TRM is life-changing. I hate being looked at. I know I look normal, but that wasn't always the case. My apartment was robbed a couple years ago. The thief slashed my arms and face before escaping. I lived. The plan was to move on from it but the scars on my face made that hard. I couldn't post anything without people bringing up what happened to me. They wouldn't let me forget. From then, I was either brave or a pity case. That's all I was known for. Screw that. I mean, the face getting slashed, of course, reminds me of Maya and how her face was slashed, but... I think they would have mentioned if their face was slashed in a kind of ritualistic pattern. A thief just slashing her face isn't going to take the time to do that.
Sponsored. Earth is dying. Join the resistance against extinction. Yes. Buy our latest book. Arya Max Maya. Does everyone want to be you or be with you? That's not a yes or no question. Yes? Do you want to be the next person nutritionists hate? No. You must be a nutritionist. Why do you hate us? Ah, Bappy Doll. The one that was, um, was it Ari Arya, I think, was the one who thought that Babby was copying them? Shooting on the same wall that they shoot? I woke up like this, barefaced. You didn't fucking wake up like that. I can see your contouring. And a million other things. <laughs> Love the natural look on women. Yep, that's a natural look. Would you believe that this stack is completely plant-based? Well, I said yes before, but now I'm starting to doubt it. Oh. And Colton. We've seen them in comments and stuff a lot, but apparently uh, Maya follows them. Or followed them. As a pledge to curb climate change, Mr. Stungles will be turning vegan as well. I feel it is my responsibility to make my pets a part of a global movement. Uh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure being on a plant-based diet for cats and dogs is really, really difficult. Maybe impossible. But that's probably not a good idea to go vegan for your dog. Probably not. Living a lifestyle envied by others? Do people envy me, an investigative journalist? No. Poor unfortunate soul. Here's someone else, Raphael's universe. Hey guys, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but please don't show up at my house. It makes me feel really unsafe. Yeah, so just just to kind of try to help place all these different people in my head. So Mina is like the musician one. Arya is the makeup one, and you know, like fashion and makeup. Maya was the health and fitness one, and Rex was the douchebag one. Bella Gonzalez. Uploading my nighttime routine in four hours. You ready to learn about my 14-step skincare routine? 14 steps? Fuck that. Captain Mars. Just moved into my new place. What do you think? Moved into a dumpster. Huh. That's it. So yeah, just um, just our own feed and Mina to look at. God, I want to do something else that maybe requires less reading though, because oh, I've been talking so much, my voice is just dead. Ugh. I don't think anything else I do is going to not require talking though. Uh, we have a lot of clues. 
Yeah, so what are things I can search for, right? Like I can try to search for transcripts, accidents, city records. City records doesn't require a name, just a location. Just trying to think if there's anything else I can search for yet. Like case file ID and transcript number. That might be, we might have all the information we need actually to put in there. Like we definitely have the case file ID. Um, how do I, how do I access the case file? I know I can search for it again, but surely I don't have to search for it. Right? Here it is. Yeah, there's a case file. Yeah, I hate that picture. And then for these, yeah, case file and transcript number. We absolutely can get these. Okay. Let me write these down. Got it. So, transcripts. I hope I don't have to retype this all the time. Um, it's always capital. Not always capital. I don't know if the capitalization matters. Uh, G31-298. It's transcript type. Definitely not court. Document. Interview. I think they're all interviews. Transcript number. Um, first one on the list is 5287. You know, that sound, to me, doesn't say, found the thing. It sounds kind of like an error. Witness Miss Aria Park. Ah, oh, yeah, right, Aria. They're all witnesses, so they were there. They all were there, right? They said, uh, Maya said that they wanted to meet everybody. They wanted to get everybody to come here. And they, I think they did. That must be these three interviews is with Arya, Mina, and Rex. Okay. Um, the officer, hello, Arya Park. Arya, this is her. Who is this? Oh, it's a phone interview, by the way. Officer, this is Officer Beck from West Bundrika PD. I have a few questions for you. Arya, uh, okay, what is this about? Officer, what is your relation to Maya Crane? Aria, we work together, doing social media stuff. Why? What happened? Officer, I'm afraid to tell you that Maya was found dead this morning. Oh. So, okay, so they maybe weren't there. That They might have been. But possibly not. Miss? Aria, sorry, I'm just... I'm at a loss. Oh my god, what happened? Officer, we're working on it. The reason I'm calling is because we found hair samples at the scene of the crime. One of them is dyed purple, and it matched a picture of you we found on Maya. You've been to her apartment recently? Arya, not recently, no. I've been there many times, though, with some friends. We all work together. Maya's place was like a hub for us. I still can't believe she's dead. Please, Officer Maya is one of my best friends. You have to get to the bottom of this. Officer, we will, ma'am. Just one more question. Arya, do you have any suspects? What else did you find? Are you bringing me in for questioning? You need to read me my rights for that, right? Officer, please, ma'am. We're just going through procedures. I can't discuss anything right now, but I'll let you know if anything comes up. Arya, okay. Sorry. I'm just floored right now. Officer, I understand. Where were you on October 21st? Aria, I was uh, working, tidying up my resume, boring stuff like that. Officer, I see. Were you in contact with Maya before? Aria, hang on a sec, officer, but am I a suspect? Officer, no, ma'am, I'm just... Aria, I already told you I wasn't there and you keep asking me questions, so am I a suspect or not? Officer, no, ma'am. It's just protocol that I talk to. Arya, if I'm not a suspect, can I please go? My best friend just died, and I need to process this. I don't think I'm in the mood to answer any questions, if that's not too much to ask. Officer, understood. 
Sorry to bother you, ma'am. If you have anything to share, please don't hesitate to contact WBPD. Aria, thank you. I hope you figure it out soon. They seemed really keen on avoiding any more questions. I think they were there. No. Oh, it didn't get rid of the case file, but then I accidentally went to a different tab. G31298. Next one on the list is 5288. Yep, this is with Rex. Uh, phone, again, Rex answers, what up, Rex speaking. <laughs> Officer, good day, Rex. This is Officer Beck from West Bendriga PD. Do you have a moment? Rex. I don't got all day, so make it quick, yeah? Officer, do you know Maya Crane? Rex, yeah. What about her? Officer, we found her dead this morning. Rex, some sort of expletive? Like, dead dead? Officer, yes sir. How do you know Maya? Rex, um, we work together. Influencer promotion stuff. I share my network and contacts with her. You know, this and that. Officer, this and that? Rex, oh, you know, just mentions, likes. It's hard to explain, but you get what I mean, right? Is she really, really dead? Like, did you check? Officer, yes, we are quite certain that she's dead. The reason I'm contact contacting you is because of some shoe prints found at the scene. Based on photographic evidence, the prints appear to be yours. Care to explain? Rex, come on, man. We work together. I've been there loads of times. I got witnesses. Officer, were you there recently? Rex, I haven't seen Maya for, like, weeks. Maybe a month. Must be old prints, you know? But if you want to know what else, uh, when else I was there, I can try to figure it out. Uh, I was there last, last, last Tuesday. Wait, maybe it's a Thursday. Crap, which day does the Mexican Finnish food truck open? Officer, Sir Rex, no, Wednesday. The game was on before I left. No, that can't be right. Officer, Sir, please, Rex, definitely Wednesday. I remember because it was raining that morning. I'm pretty sure, Officer, Sir, Rex, wait, does just being outside her door count? I dropped off some hard drives for her. She wasn't home, so I didn't really go into the house, you know? That was last, last... Officer, sir, please, thank you for being so thorough, but I just need one more question, and then we'll be done. Rex. All right. Okay. Go for it. Officer, what were you doing on the 21st? Rex. I was reading. In my, in my line of work. Gotta be up to date. Gotta read, gotta learn, you know? Officer. Thank you. That's all I need. If there's anything we need to know, we'll call you. In the meantime... Don't leave town. Rex, right. Gotcha. This is interesting to me. Dropping off some hard drives. Why? Last one is 5289. Oh, they're just sequential. So, yeah. Didn't need to delete the whole thing. Mina. Mina, hello? Um, officer, good day. Mina De Silva, I presume? Mina, speaking. Officer, I'm calling about Maya Crane. You know her? Mina, yes. She's my manager. Like, my social media manager. What's wrong? Am I in trouble? Officer, not at the moment, ma'am. I call to inform you that we found Maya dead this morning. Mina, loud screaming. What? Officer, ma'am, please, your volume. <laughs> Mina, audible sobbing. No, 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 no. Maya, what happened to her? Officer, we're investigating it at the moment. Mr. Silva, please calm down. 
Mina, she's gone? She's really gone? Officer, please, Miss De Silva, we need your help. Stay strong for me, okay? I just need your help with some questions, and I'll be on my way, okay? Mina. Okay. Officer, I found a guitar pick at the crime scene. I saw some photos of you playing the guitar at Maya's residence, and it looks like you had a similar pick. Could you have left one at her house? Mina. Yes, it's probably mine. I usually keep them in my pocket and they tend to fall out. I have tons of picks, so I don't even miss them. Officer. Were you there lately? Mina, loud sobbing. No, not lately. I've been there many times, though. Maya was so sweet and kind. How did this happen? Officer. Sorry, miss. I'm having trouble hearing you. Mina. Oh, God, I'm such a mess. Officer. Ma'am, I understand this is difficult for you, but you got to do this one last question for me. All right? After that, leave the rest to us, okay? Mina. Okay. Officer. On the 21st of October, care to share what you were doing that night? Mina. I was, uh, um, writing a song, just writing. Officer, it's all right, ma'am. It's all right. We're done. I know this is hard on you, but you did really well. Thank you so much for your help. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to call us, okay? Mina. Thanks. Thank you so much. It's just so overwhelming, you know? Officer, I understand. Have a good day. Let's try speaking with the friends. Hmm. Let's start with a Rex. We need to talk alone. God, why you gotta use Maya's number? Almost killed me there. <laughs> Get it? That was in poor taste. Well, can't please everyone. Make it quick, because I got a business to run. So shoot those questions. Right, I remember Detective Murillo told me to try to be conversational and get them a little bit comfortable comfortable before I start throwing out some harder questions, I guess. So, I know, let's try to pump them up a bit. You sound important. In this economy? Hell yeah, I am. Gotta rethink my workflow now that Maya, now with Maya gone. Figure out a new career plan. Problems keep piling up on me. Sounds like Maya's death really affected you. Hey, don't give me your sarcasm, alright? Yeah, I'm sad and stuff. Pros like me are used to pushing through our personal shit to make our enterprises work. So quit the small talk. What do you really want from me? Ooh, I'm on a timer. And they don't like small talk, which makes sense, given their personality, actually. Where were you when Maya died? Editing my videos. Gotta give my people what they want. Me? Yeah... But it says here you were reading in the interview. Cops can't record my calls. Can they? I mean, I was reading and editing. I can multitask. So my theory? Maya went on some bullshit detox self-care trip. Whatever she did there messed up her face and she got so upset and just croaked. You think a detox did that to her face? How do you know about her face injuries, huh? Uh, wild guess? My theories tend to be accidentally on point, alright. I'm a visionary. I know you're playing detective, but let me just say, Maya being dead means business is bad for everyone, especially me. Rex appears to hint at Maya's unique facial injuries despite denying any knowledge of how Maya died. Hmm.
How was that? Well, for one, image is everything. Death is a bummer for any brand. Okay, time's up. You need anything else? I could have made 7,800 bucks in these few minutes of talking to you. We'll be in touch. Wrap it, wrap it fast up. That's, um, that's weird. Wrap it up fast, will ya? Glad I decided to look at a bunch of information before interviewing them. Very glad. Mm. Let's do Arya now. Need to talk alone. I've already told you everything I know. You seem like the one in charge of the group. Someone has to take the lead. I'm not sure how I can help. Just talking, or are you fishing for a story? Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to say that I'm doing a piece about her? Or just a chat? There's no way it's just a chat. That's absurd. No, we're doing a piece about her. Huh. I can already see the entitled millennial headline. Can we please just get this over with so I can go back to my life? Were you too close? We were. But I can't even mourn her in peace right now. Everything is falling apart and I have to pretend everything's fine. Work has been stressful enough as it is. Kinda harsh to fake something like that. You think I like doing this? It's my job to keep up appearances. As devastated as I am right now, I still have to craft the perfect RIP response for my followers. Otherwise, my performance will tank even further. This job feels quite demanding. It's a ruthless industry, so I need to stay competitive. Your followers can make or break you in an instant. You have to keep them happy at all times. And that means making sacrifices. It sounds like they own you. It's a two-way relationship. They live their lives vicariously through me. I get to live my life as I please. Work doesn't feel like work when you love your job. So for most of us, the pressure is worth it. Were you working the night Maya died? See if I can catch him at a lie. I was recording a video, a makeup tutorial. Maybe work strain is the real killer here. Aha, they're lying about where they were too. Okay, they were all definitely there. They were there. They did get invited. Maya did manage to get them all in the room. Weren't you working on your resume? <laughs> I must have mixed up my dates. You're right, that was my resume day. See, overworking can mess you up. She was always overdoing it. With her lifestyle, who knows what kind of supplement she was popping. Maybe she dropped dead in her living room from pure exhaustion. How do you know where she died? I'm just putting the pieces together, okay? Isn't that your job? Are you done because I am? I'd like to get back to my shoot now. Man, these people are easy. It's easy to just see through their lies. They are not very good liars, which I suppose is a good thing. 
They're probably not serial killers or anything like that. Anything else you want to share? I'll let you know if anything comes to mind. Glad to be of help. Mina. Do I want to check any of these? Not yet. Need to talk. Oh. Uh, should we text in the group, too? Let's keep this between us. Uh, okay. Is this an interview? Maybe I'll just redirect and just not answer that. Her death must have been a shock. I'm totally heartbroken. I can't help thinking like I could have helped her somehow. It's so sad that she died alone. How are you coping? It's not my first time dealing with death. But I'm used to putting all that pain into my art. She believed in me from the start, you know? I was struggling to get anyone to listen to me. But she heard me. She helped me change my look and made me who I am today. Sounds like you owe a lot to her. All of us do. She taught me a lot about this business. Your follower numbers matter more than talent. Even Maya got worried when she lost followers. All that stress must have eaten her up inside. Where were you when Maya died? Just rehearsing for my gig. I should have made more effort to contact her. Does rehearsing include writing? What? Yes. Sometimes. Uh, I mean, writing, rehearsing, it's all part of the process. I'm just so overwhelmed right now. I totally lost track of someone I cared about. I keep thinking about how she died. Like, what if no one reported her death? If that random person didn't call the cops, would anyone have found her? How do you know about the anonymous caller? Uh... I heard the cops talking about it? Yeah, that makes sense. I must have overheard. Uh, can I go now, please? All this Maya talk is really triggering me right now. I need some time alone. You've been a great help. Okay. Bye. What has been updated here? Ah. I spoke to them individually. Learn anything new? Actually, we just got a checkpoint. I just got a checkpoint, and either I keep missing them, or this game does not have checkpoints very often, because I've been waiting for one for so long. Now that it's here, I'm going to take it. My voice is dying, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.